Welcome back, everyone. Spring break is right around the corner. And if you're looking to keep your child entertained while still keeping their brain sharp in the process, Explora has just a thing for you. I spoke with communications coordinator Sheldon Hamilton to find out more about Explora's spring break virtual camps and all they have to offer. Joining us this morning, we have Sheldon Hamilton with Explora. Good morning. Morning, how are you? I'm doing well. Thank you so much for asking. Sheldon, I love having you on because you're always going to bring something awesome to the show. Before we get into that pretty cool experiment I see you kind of concocted for us today, let's talk about some spring break virtual opportunities for kids. Yes, so we have some spring break virtual camps that are now open for registration from the 18th until the 26th of March, that's this month. Um, we also have some in-person camps available with those are filling up fast. I think they might already even be full, but our virtual programs are still just as fun. We have loads of kits with a bunch of different facilitators that are gonna walk us through so many cool activities and it's all outlined on our website as always. Um, loads of cool camps, including an animation camp that I might be teaching with one of my co-facilitators. So check it out. How cool is that? Okay, how easy is it for parents to register their kids? Super easy. So you can actually just navigate to our website, explorer.us. And if you go to the camps tab, you can scroll through. We have some camp options at Explora. Those are the limited in-person ones. We also have someone at the Nature Center and then the rest of them are all gonna be virtually outlined and you can look through the description of the class, a date, a time, and you click register now and it takes you to our link. You can fill out all the information and get yourself registered. I love it. You guys make it so easy for us. Okay, so something that's not easy for us to do at home is what you're doing for us uh, at your home in a sense, Explora. So what's yes. going on over there? So this is actually one of the, uh, I guess, contraptions that we used to use a lot during our family science nights that we miss nearly, or we used to hold nearly and dearly to our hearts, I should say. Um, but it's called the Van der Graaff generator. And so what happens in this acrylic tube here, there's a giant rubber band. And when I turn this on, that rubber band's gonna start spinning around and around and around and generate static electricity inside of this, uh, this little aluminum dome. And what's really cool, is we can use, if I can put this back on correctly, we can use that static charge we build up to some pretty fun things with um, these aluminum discs and this paper. So I think I'll start with the paper because the paper is my favorite and I'll be careful here so I don't shock myself live. <laughs> but once I turn this on, the band is gonna start spinning and we might see something really cool happen to the paper here. Woo! Oh, wow. That one's always really messy. Yeah. Go ahead and discharge it. I got some paper even on my eyebrow there. <laughs> and so what you saw me doing at the end there was I use this wand here and that's why I just discharge it. So if I get too close, I don't get static shocked. And then this last one here is essentially the same thing, but we do it with these uh, mini pie dishes. I like this one because it looks like it's wearing a hat and the hats just start flying off. Oh my gosh. That is so cool. They are all gone. I love it. Yeah. So one of my very favorite demos, but it doesn't get used that much because um, we used to have people link up fingers and the shock would travel through them, but that's not very COVID safe. So no. it doesn't get a lot of light these days. Maybe in a year or two, out. we'll do that again. Exactly, hopefully, fingers crossed. <laughs> fingers crossed. Okay, so I know you guys also have some workshops for teachers that you wanted to mention real fast. Yes, we do. We have uh, a slew, I think, going through either the end of April or the beginning of May. We have to double check on our Facebook page. You can see them in our events tab. It has information on what workshop it is. Um, we have some for early childhood and then uh, third grade through eighth grade teachers. And all of that is on our Facebook, like I said. Um, so check it out. It's definitely worth it. They are free, free, free workshops for teachers. And you get a cool kit of materials for stuff you can integrate into your classroom. Sheldon, you're speaking our language. We love that word free. That's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> Sheldon Hamilton, once again, thank you so much for joining us. Some awesome experiments you always bring to our show. Thank you so much for having me. It's always a pleasure.